Very nice. Welcome everyone. This is the second video in the Mini Talon video series and as mentioned in the unboxing video, this plane was provided by GearBest.com. Thank you very much. And today we're going to be taking a look at the assembly process. So before we get too far into this, just a quick comment. I know that the photographs are flying by quite quickly and that some of you may take issue with that. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video on any photograph that you want to take a longer look at rather than have all of the photographs drawn out. So this is going to allow us to make a much shorter video and also it will allow you to skip over some of the photographs that you have no interest in more quickly and you can pause the video at any time you like to take a longer look. So thank you for your understanding. The camera I'm installing here is the new BidEye Low Latency FPV camera with built-in DVR. I'll be doing a separate video on the performance of this camera once I get a chance to use it and I've decided that the Mini Talon is the platform I'm going to use to test out the camera. The assembly of the plane itself went very well, much as you would expect from a foam plane. The only thing I had to stop to think about was what I needed to install inside the fuse halves before I glued them together. Uh, things like the wiring and such. To quickly summarize the components, it'll be using a 2216 1250 kV Sunny Sky motor with a Hobby King Plush ESC. It's got a 60 amp in there now, which is way too big, but it's all I had on hand. And uh, APC 8x6 prop. I'll be using 12 gram Emacs servos and a 4S5000 LiPo to power it. Uh, with any luck, if things go well, we'll be adding the second 5000 LiPo so that we can get some really nice flight times out of this. Well, I'm not pretending to be an expert on FPV or on this particular plane, but if you've got any questions about this plane or the way that I've assembled it or any of the components I've used, I'll be glad to answer you to the best of my ability, so fire away. Well, as you can see, I've spent way too much time trying to make this Mini Talon look different from all the rest. And my inspiration, as you can probably tell, is uh, Navy T-28 with a dash of Coast Guard. So there you go. So why am I going 2.4 and 5.8 on this plane? Well, quite frankly, it's because I'm very, very new to FPV and I wanted to make sure that this plane flew well before I threw a bunch of money at it in the event that it crashed or I lost it somehow or whatever. I just wanted to take baby steps. So the plan is to go 5.8 for video and 2.4 for control and eventually uh, install a Dragon Link system and uh, 1.3 for video and that assumes everything goes as well as I hope it does and then we'll be able to get into some uh, some longer distance flights. I'm cautiously optimistic about this plane because everyone that has one seems to love it and I think it's going to be a great plane to, to hone my FPV skills. The I guess the only negative side to it is that it likes to fly very quickly. It doesn't have very good slow speed characteristics and it likes to land hot but uh, you got to have a little bit of fun. Well there's just enough time for a, a couple of shout outs and I owe a big thanks to Mike from East Coast 78 on YouTube. Mike lives over on the east coast of Canada while I live on the west and even though we're three and a half time zones away Mike finds the time to give me a hand when he can so Thanks very much, Mike. I also need to thank Dave who printed off the video transmitter bracket for this plane for me. Thank you, Dave. 
and also for giving me a hand with some of the Tranus issues that Mike is also helping me with. And then uh, a big thanks to Adam over at uh, GearBest for sending me the plane and starting all of this trouble in the first place. And last but not least, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. So I hope you'll join me soon when we made in this little plane. And until then, take care, happy flying, and bye-bye for now.